hell is even that? Hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome to the first episode of the Kevi Chronicles in China. Today, we're traveling to a lesser-known corner of China, a city rich in history, intrigue, and architectural marvels. Join us as we explore Chengde, a place that holds secrets and stories from centuries past. But what makes Chengde so extraordinary? Let's dive into the mysterious past and present of this ancient city. Nestled in the mountainous region of the Hebei Province, Chengde is a city that has long been the crossroads of history and culture. It's known for its remarkable blend of traditional Chinese and imperial influences. Chengde's story is as layered and intricate as an onion. If onions have layers. After one of the most interesting lunches I have ever had, we loaded up the cameras, listened to a completely incoherent bus driver, and then visited the Chengde Museum. I really didn't shoot much at the museum, so let's just talk about the cameras. I still haven't figured out where to get my film developed here in China, so today I'm shooting with the Sony A7S III and I'm using a mix of Tamron lenses that range from 17mm up to 180mm. I wanted to have a lot of versatility while shooting, so I'm only going to be using zoom lenses with f2.8 apertures. We saw some absolutely wild things on this little trip, some of which I don't even know how to describe, but we'll get into that later. For now, let's just make my backpack as heavy as humanly possible and go wander until our feet bleed. The people that we saw were incredibly stunning and looked like some of them could tell us about all the secrets of life. This is not the Great Wall. This is more like the kind of okay wall. So yeah, I guess. After exploring some of the temples, we ended up going to what we thought was like a small play in the park. Turns out it was a massive production detailing the reign of the Qing Dynasty with the rise and fall of rebel factions. I wish I had any idea about what on earth was going on but it was seriously one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. Let's get back to shooting and exploring.
to know that I love you from the highest peak to low. There ain't nothing that will block our path to grow. We can work it out. It seemed like everywhere I looked, there was something new and fascinating to photograph. I was running around like a chicken with its head cut off, pointing my lens at all the wild and wonderful things I saw. I love the colors of these flags. And obviously, I have to get a shot of the spinning things. Please just go ahead and disregard that you have to look at the bird's nest of my hair in all of these shots. Thanks. This is apparently the largest wooden bodhisattva in the world, rising over 22 meters high and weighing over 111 tons. Sun flares are an absolute must. You're the sweetest scent I know. That's right. A higher power, but us together. That angel. You're the deepest part of my heart. Oh, you said it Let us climb and reach the stars This is honestly where I'm the happiest, simply roaming around with my camera, getting completely lost and having no real direction other than looking for interesting shapes and colors. So let's just sit back and relax. I'm going to stop talking and we can just enjoy some peaceful photography together.
Oh, you're good. No worries. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Chengde. If you enjoyed this exploration of history and mystery, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more Wanderings with Kevi. Until next time, keep creating and keep exploring.